Well, hello, everybody in the chat watching live. Looks like there's a couple of you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody listening to the replay. Hello as well. Everybody on the podcast platforms. Hello. Live every Friday at 6 Central on YouTube is the Cleaner Cast. And we're available on Spotify, Anchor, and Apple Podcasts. Give us that subscribe, rate, and review, everybody. So I could enter a coughing fit at any minute. So let's get Mr. Alex Dewar on the cast, our original Canadian cohort. What's happening, buddy? Hello, hello, everyone. Yeah, Jamie... Your household has not had the best luck. They've been getting down with the sickness in this past yep. little while. That's for that's for sure. But uh, I feel like I've been sick this entire run of this podcast. So <laughs> yeah, <sighs> yeah, it certainly I'll seems that sick. way. But have uh, two good weeks and be sick yeah. again. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on around here, but I gotta <laughs> get on the vitamin C, start exercising, something. Yeah. Something's got to right give around on. here. Dewar, what what were you up to this week? Oh, it's been uh it's been a busy week, been wrapping up. It's uh Canadian Thanksgiving up here this weekend. So happy Thanksgiving Ooh, to all the uh, fellow Canadians watching. Um uh, you know, we do it a little early around here compared to you guys down south, but that's yep. all right. We like to get out of the way. Doesn't don't want to be, yep. to be uh too close to Christmas. Yeah, yeah, if y'all wait too long, no one can make it to anybody's <laughs> houses. Y'all have to get the plows out and that's very we true. Each yeah. Other. yeah. So that but, makes sense. Uh, makes sense. But yeah, there's a lot of Canadians that even though they're, uh, you know, not officially Thanksgiving and you guys have it, a lot of them celebrate it at the same time. It's like, hey, it's another excuse to have turkey and a massive <laughs> meal. Yep. What uh, what do the Canadians eat for Thanksgiving? Standard stuff or y'all got? Yeah, a lot different? of a lot of standard, just kind of turkey. Some people do ham, you know, and yeah, keep it keep it pretty plain, Jane. It's uh. Mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. no no poutine with turkeys or anything like that i don't think i haven't seen yeah, that that's what i was looking for yeah, Might be fancy up. hot turkey sandwiches yeah. and like it's one of those things where you just have turkey for like a week after the fact and you just mm-hmm. kind of get sick of it you know by day yeah. three or day four and yeah about to wait till next year yep my day two or three i'm already like making weird sandwiches starting yep. to put stuff in the freezer i'm like i'm sick of it yeah that's exactly but anyway, yeah. I guess we can get our guest on this week. Yes, we can do that. He's got a lot of new products. We had him early on the show on episode two, back when we were live on IG. Mm-hmm. Still was, working was, the kinks out back then. But yeah, like you said, yep. a couple new things. Yep. So it's good to have Understand. him back on. Uh, mm-hmm. Something happened to your audio on our original podcast. If you go back and listen to it, you're just silent the whole podcast. So I don't know what happened <laughs> to the original. But we're here for, we're, we're giving him some redemption today on yep. today's episode. But the first podcast was still good, but I'm glad to have him back on this one, everybody. He is Brad from Black Rhino Shine. What's happening, Brad? Hey, how y'all doing? Good, good, good. Let me get you in the right position here. There you go. Make you big. Make us small. So what's been happening, Brad? Oh, no, no, no. We got got to make you big here on the cleaner cast. But uh, so what's been happening since last time we talked to you? We talked to you either early summer or late spring, somewhere around there. So what you been up to? Oh, just working on the the optics and the uh, all the tire coatings. Got a few more more things lined up. Got uh, working on a, a ceramic wax. Going for super hydrophobic on that one. Nice. Uh, there we that, go. That's yeah. the plan, anyway. Yep. Last time we talked, we were throwing around the, the phrase "super hydrophobic." I was looking forward to some of them. Yeah, I was hoping it'd be ready by now, but you know how that goes. Oh yeah, I'm still looking forward to it for sure. So, Brad, I saw over the summer you tried to start you a, a detailing venture a little bit, a little side gig over there. Tell us how that went. Oh, no, that, that was my son. It was your son? Oh. Yeah. yeah. He, he decided detailing's not for him. He's he's going <laughs> to be a truck driver now. <laughs> yep, that's a pretty hard gig. How did Yeah, uh, de- detailing's not as easy as some people think it is. Like, oh, well, you're just washing and wax or washing and vacuuming. It shouldn't take you very long or cost very much. Yeah. Was yeah. he throwing on some uh, black rhino coatings any? Or will he not get that far yet? Uh, he did a few of them, yeah. Did a few of them? Nice. He, nice. he really mainly uh, kind of focused on interior, but he did a, a few yeah. coatings. Yeah. Nice. I fo- followed that little venture for a while. That was pretty fun. And I, th- I thought he, he did pretty good work. Pretty good. For a, as short endeavored as he was, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so it was a fun little follow. Yeah, you know how kids are, kind of a short attention span. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's on to other things now. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, Brad, since we're caught up with you, with, with your summer projects, we noticed the brands had a nice little facelift with the logo, and you got some new fresh bottles. So tell us how that came about. I love the white bottles that Black Rhino mm-hmm. and Graphex comes in now. We got away from the vape style uh, yeah. containers. So tell us uh, how that came about. I like Thank the you. vape. I like, like the vape bottles. They they look different, you know, something different than everybody else is doing, but I started having issues with them. Yeah. Um, some of the coatings were getting hard a little bit early, <laughs> going going bad because the chemicals were attacking the plastic and having a reaction. Mm-hmm. Um, so went ahead and switched over to glass like everybody else. Well, yeah. mo- most everybody. Some people still come in little plastic bottles. But, Definitely. But, yeah, uh, I love yeah, the I like white bottles. bottles. I think the labels with the nice white bottle is like really good, really good looking. I like the style different from the clear bottles. How'd you find the little white bottles? Uh, actually, I thought they were going to be kind of a, a see-through white. They turned out being solid white. Solid was white yeah. <laughs> it turned out pretty good. But, uh, and the, the labels on the optics, I don't mm-hmm. think they look as good as I had planned them to. Um, once they're printed, they're just not as high I guess the image wasn't as high quality as I thought it was. Right. So on my phone or I'm on a, on my computer, it looked good, but once it got to the printer, something changed, and mm-hmm. we, we might play with that one again. But it still looks pretty good. It's it looks really good. I really like the optics green bottle and the logo. I think it's the perfect package. I think you've nailed the new new bottles. But yeah, yeah, it's the same background as the black rhino, but against the white bottle, it looks different. Yeah. So. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think you knocked it out the park with that. You gave the, did you give the logo a little tweak? I think it got a little tweaked as well, right? Uh, the main, the black rhino image is the same. It's just got some, a different background to it. Yeah. Yeah. Going around it. Yeah. Kind of purple style. Yeah. I like it. I like all the, the changes you've made so far. I think it's looking real good over there. But uh, mm-hmm. so going to black rhino graphics, any updates on those coatings? Or are those still pretty much the same? Uh, those are those are same as they were, just a different bottle. Different bottle. Yep. Uh, the only new, the only changes were the optics and the uh, best dress. Um, which the best dress, obviously, we just released yesterday. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. not a whole lot of sales on that one yet. But. <laughs> yeah, you sent me a little early version. Applied it on a, a couple tires. Really good stuff. I've been impressed yeah, so- with it so far. I wanted to use it yesterday. I have misplaced the bottle somewhere around my studio, but I'll find it eventually. Yeah, so far everybody's loving it, so we'll see how that goes. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, good stuff from there. Uh, so Black Rhino graphics still the same, but I guess we'll roll into the Optics multi-surface coating, which I've been knocked. Uh, I think you knocked it out the park uh, personally. And oh, uh, our friend here, Doug from Detail it. Detail it Gave us a little video that I'm going to play right now. I wanted him as a guest because I was really going to American up this podcast for old doer there. Yeah. I was telling him <laughs> age, I was really going to bring on some, some, some bit of Southern there. influence. Yep. Yep. American Deep flag South. waving the blue collar style and a uh, Doug from detail. It was perfect. He's been loving the black rhino brand uh, posted a lot, does a bunch of coatings with it. And he had just used optics himself and really gave a great review of it on YouTube. Didn't you think so, Brad? Oh yeah, he did. He always does a good job. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't think he doesn't think so, but I I think they're always good. Yeah, I think he not. I think he did a great job. So we're gonna go to that video here and give it a watch and see what he has to say about the optics multi surface coat. If oh, what's happening? Oh, hold on. Let me get you here. There we go. Figured it out. Okay, now I gotta find the video. Hey guys. Uh... Detail it on YouTube, to detail it on Instagram. I'm at work. Sorry I couldn't be there. I just thought I would uh, give a few lines to Black Rhino, uh, Brad, and to Jamie the Cleaner. Uh, I hope I can send this video. I am a tech idiot. So anyway, for the business side of it, to me, Black Rhino is the simplest coating to apply. So anybody afraid to do a coating, you're going to want to look at Brad's optics. 
that product goes on in hazes like a wax, super easy to remove, easy to deal with. Uh, don't let it stand too long. You're going to have great slickness. I haven't checked water beating yet. I plan on doing that uh, probably Sunday. I work again tomorrow, Saturday. Um, but it is slick to the touch, so I don't think you can go wrong with optics. To me, honestly, I know there's other coatings in Brad's line, but optics is the only coating for me. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to use all his stuff. I have the Boost. I have uh, Black Rhino. I have graphics. I have all the new improved formulas. I have his trim uh, restorer. I have the tire coating, which is awesome. I love it so far. But optics has changed the game. And I fully expect, and here's a challenge, Brad, 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 check it out. <laughs> You've evolved and changed the market. You have set the bar ultra high with this um, wax-like coating. Not wax-like, but it hazes like a wax. My challenge to you is this. Develop a coating. Anybody watching, I, I really believe this is possible. And if anybody's going to do it, it's going to be Brad. Because he's not afraid to try new shit. Brad, we need a coating that self-levels, that fills minor swirl marks. Uh, Scott Bly over at uh, Dallas Paint Correction did it. His would fill minor, minor swirls. You need something that will fill swirls. You do not have to correct paint. Maybe just prep it, as in wash it, strip wash it, clay it, apply the coating, and it comes out buttery smooth like it's been corrected. That's your next challenge, Brad. I know you can do it anyway. Love you guys. Thanks, everybody that follows and watches. I appreciate all the love. I'm undeserving of it. Brad's a great guy. He's a giving guy. Some of this money goes towards, um, well, he can tell you more about that. They're very charitable people, uh, good to the industry, good for the industry. Give them some love, and I appreciate everything, Brad. Jamie, thanks for inviting me. Sorry I couldn't be there. Uh, take care. So Black Rhino Optics, definitely two thumbs up for the DIY, the hobbyist, the professional. It hits all levels without a doubt. Take care, guys. There you go. Hey, guys. Uh -oh. uh, hold on. Detail it on YouTube. Oh, boy. To detail it on <laughs> little bit right, noise. Figure it out. There we go. Not the only one. You know, that's, a, that's the first time we've played a little uh, – Picture and picture video, so well done there. We uh, always experiment when Brad's on. <laughs> yeah, always well, a bit of experimentation. There you we go, haven't Brad. lost audio yet, so we're good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think we can hear everybody still. So, Brad, there you go. Doug kind of laid down the challenge, gave uh, optics a heck of a review. What would you think? Of his, uh, little I don't comments? think I could have asked for better than that. <laughs> yeah. But um, challenge is already partially accepted. I've already been working on that. So I think I, nice. I don't remember if it was our last – conversation or when it was with Mike and Eric but we I talked about a uh, self-leveling ceramic that you just you apply and then leave it alone no wiping off or anything but uh, it's it's in the works hopefully that will be the next one and it will probably actually replace uh, black rhino Boom. because I don't want to just keep adding more and more you know, I don't want to end up with 15 coatings on my website so just right. replace it all together you mean yeah, so I will, yeah. and I'll just replace the lower one with, with a better one, and just right. anytime I come out with another coating, I will it will replace something else, unless it's for a different application. Right, I'm not just going to keep adding more and more coatings. Yeah, yep. Unless it's specifically, you know, for glass, for a substrate. Yeah, and most coatings you can use on mm -hmm. multi surfaces anyway. Um, yeah. yeah, so I. I Doubt I will ever have just like a glass coating. Mm -hmm. um, but one of my suppliers did send me a glass coating that they developed for me to try out. So I might, I'll try it, see, see what it's like. There you go. So tell us about the, you know, coming up with optics, the multi-surface coating, uh, how, you know, you came about it hazing like a wax being so different and, uh, you know, such an easy application. All right. Um, I came up with it because as much as I love my graphics, there's some surfaces that you just can't use that on, like polycarbonate and acrylic. It will attack them. And obviously, I want to make something that is safe for everything or mostly everything. Mm -hmm. um, so this is, so far, it's safe on everything we've tested on. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't had any negative or ill effects. Right. Um, the 
hazing effect, that's just, that's nothing I had planned. It just kind of happened. It's just the way it works. Mm -hmm. uh, worked out, worked out pretty good. I mean, I didn't add any wax to it or anything like that to make it yeah. haze like wax. It's just the way it, just the way that compound works. So, but uh, yeah, I don't think you could ask for easier application or removal. I mean, it, it goes no. on. Somebody asked me yesterday, uh, well, how hard is it to remove? I'm like, well, if you see the video, it just wipes right off. So very cool. Yeah. yeah. There's no hard, you know, rubbing or buffing, just wipes right off. So so far from my usage, I went through the whole bottle. I had a little bit left over and then I applied it as a glass coating on the kind of next vehicle I did. Yeah. So uh, really good and all around trim, paint, glass, really great coating. Uh, Glad you liked it. How long do you think it uh, has uh, durability wise on each surface? Does that vary? On each? Yeah, they're all going to vary. It just depends on how well you prep it. and uh, Depending on the surface, you know, some of them will absorb it more than other if it's plastic or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, it's really too, it varies way too much to say that you'll get exactly two years or three years or mm -hmm. Which is a lot. What a lot of people get kind of mad about, like, "Hey, the, you told me this the last five mm -hmm. years." How do you, that's just that's in ideal circumstances. Yeah, mm -hmm. under promise, yeah. over deliver. Yeah, yeah. So, how do you go about testing your durability claims in Black Rhino? Well, on the on gra everything before optics, the graphics, um, my base supplies have already been tested by my supplier. They they have they do their own uh, artificial weather testing and uh, real life, you know, they'll, they'll coat a panel and just leave it outside forever. Mm -hmm. But they also coat panels and send it out to other testing facilities. Um, optics is pretty much the same way. Um, I, I won't say exactly what's in here because I don't want other people to start selling it, obviously. Yeah. yeah. But, but the, the base, uh, the base resins have been around for quite a while. The, the, what makes it different is just the way I've blended it. Mm -hmm. So everything in here has already been tested to, to be durable, but I still do my own testing, like, right. you know, real world testing. I've got it on my vehicle. I've got it on hoods sitting out, out in the back. Um, been sitting there for quite a while. <laughs> um, I try to do as much real world testing as possible. Mm -hmm. right? but, yeah. So is this one going to be as hydrophobic as the black rhino and the graphics? Oh, it's, it's just, just as good. If just if not better, um, yeah, this cool. one also has uh PTFE treated nanoparticles, so that's usually yes. a pretty hydrophobic, yeah, stuff right there. Um, I had both of these on a, on a panel and they both felt the same. Mm -hmm. Uh, the only difference between optics and GraphX was GraphX never, uh, it never got clogged. I'm not saying on the panel, I'm not saying it will never get clogged. Um, but yeah. in my testing, every time I went out, I went out every couple of weeks, every month and graphics was the only one that didn't need a decon. Uh, everything else, I, you know, I had to decontaminate before it would show the hydrophobics again. Graphics was good right from the start. So, um, yeah, so that's the difference. Graphics is a great coating but you got to watch it on a couple of surfaces. Mm -hmm. uh, optics right. is out, just good. Out. Yeah. It, it's even easier to apply, mm -hmm. but it, it will clog like normal coatings will. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The PTFE, you know, coatings seem to be not as clog resistant. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what goes on there, but it seems like they're a little stickier or something. Right. Something. I don't know what it is, but. <laughs> yeah, another brand does those kind of uh, was that Teflon Teflon coatings, and they seem to get clogged. A bunch of decons with them. Oh right. yeah, <laughs> but, which isn't which isn't a, a bad thing. I mean, you're gonna no. have to do it anyway, as long as you know how to do it. Yep, still get the durability out of it and stuff. So, do we got anything on optics? We got no. It sounds it sounds like a pretty universal product, which is good. I mean, there's there's some people, especially when they're new to coatings, they don't want to have, you know, oh, geez, I got to go buy coating for this, coating for that. So it, it's nice that you can have something fairly universal. Like there is still a place, obviously, for just straight up paint coatings that 
you could probably put on side glass, but not so much the windshield um, or even certain trims because there's more and more plastic going on cars nowadays with trims and, you know, lower panels and different things in the hoods and the mirrors. So it's just the little things that I think it'll be nice for. Yep. Like I said, I use it just as a glass coating. Yeah. <clears throat> Fantastic. I have a problem with a bunch of glass coatings. will give me some, some, some feedback due to humidity and whatnot and the heat, but optics, Right on, haze, right off. I was glad to see that you used it on the, the trim piece on that car, too. Yep. Yep. Some people are like, well, can you use it on trim? I'm like, absolutely. Yep. There you go. Yep. Yeah, I wanted to show a couple. You know, it has nice, uh, nice panel to test on because paint straight into the trim. Mm-hmm. Good way to test the coating out real quick. <clears throat> but, yeah, so that's optics. You got anything else you want to leave off on optics, the multi-service coating? If anybody – out there is thinking of if you want to try one from black rhino i suggest you go do the buy one get one offer jamie double mike double whoever find whoever you want to support double but go buy two bottles of optics because this stuff is phenomenal it's just a great coating thank you very much yeah if if all those double offers yeah. expire i've got the optics so they can but i would i'd like them to use yours first yours or mike's or uh Big reds, whoever's nice. If you got a double out there, use that one first. There's yeah. options, is what you're saying. Exactly. <laughs> whoever's you got to use, just go yeah. get you some bottles of optics. But uh, yeah. Any any last uh, things for optics? Uh no. Just I'm I'm glad everybody's liking it so far. We'll we'll always push to keep making our products better. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll never say they're better than everybody else's, but we're going to keep making the best that I can make. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. And that brings us to the new best dress tire coating. I love the name. Mm-hmm. Just, dropped, just dropped it. What yesterday? Best dress. Nice new label. It does look Great pretty label. interesting. Yeah. I'll say that. But tell us about how you came up and developed uh, the best dress tire coating. Uh, well, I actually had a, another company I was going to, just I don't want to just label somebody else's stuff, but mm-hmm. they had a really good dressing. Um, mm-hmm. Not so much on tires. It's awesome on interior. You use it on tires, and you're you're re you're reapplying in a couple of days. Interior, mm-hmm. it's awesome. So I might still play with their dressing on that. But I'd rather make my own stuff. Right. Um, but yeah, just I've seen some of the other guys. Um, I'm yeah. sure you've seen the, the videos oh, on yeah. the, the white coating. You know, hey, we can last a year or more, and yeah, that's. I just figured I'd, I'd bring something up to give them a little run for their money. Give them a run for the money. Yeah, that's what, yeah. I figured so. I happened I happened to look at their website the other day, and they said they're guaranteed. They won't sell you their product unless you also buy their cleaner. Yeah. At the same time. Interesting. You also have to uh, contact them for return information before you order. And then if you have a problem and want to return it, you have to document the whole application process with either photos or video before, mm-hmm. during, and after, before they'll I'm, even give you your money back. I'm out. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> out. I'm out. I'm like, how, that's that's just too many hoops to jump through to get your 35 bucks back. How much yeah. more as seen on TV can you get? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good grief. People. We will not refund shipping and handling charges. But yeah, so yeah. I know the the blackout trim coating was a uh, you know available to use on tires too. Big Red, I saw posted a couple of videos using it on tires. So what's the big difference from using blackout to best dress? Uh, the best dress is more concentrated. Um, there's also there's more ceramic in. There's it's mostly mostly polymer based, but it has 15 percent uh, ceramic in it. Mm-hmm. And just not as not as many solvents, so it's just more concentrated and eh, more enhanced than the other one was. Yeah, more, but yes. more designed for that specific rubber on tires. Yeah, specifically for it's specifically for tires, but I have mm-hmm. used it on trim, and it also works great. Nice, that's good to know. The, um, you were Canadian Wi-Fi kicking in again. <laughs> and continue. No, oh, he's back. I clicked the button. I apologize. You were hitting buttons over there. Yeah. But yeah, Blackout has, uh, I've had a few different um, rubber trims Yeah. that sometimes it just won't work on. I don't know what kind of like, like on my Dodge, uh, the window trim, 
it just right. no matter how much I put product I put on there, it just looks like crap all the time. <laughs> I don't know what kind of plasticky rubber it is, but it, it just I can't get it to look good. Yeah. Right. But uh, yeah, the best dress is specifically for rubber. So mm-hmm. very cool. Yep. Do you got anything on? Yeah, I like the. Uh, no, I saw best dress. Just uh, saw some bunch of photos popping up online, and I I like the logo a lot. Um, you know, it's it's simple and straight to the point and whatnot. And uh, yeah, no, it looks like a killer product. And hitting the wrong decals. Decals up here. Oh my goodness, we're gonna get back into that debate. Oh my goodness, the great Canadian USA debate. Yeah. <laughs> Never ends. Yeah, no, it's uh, no, it looks uh, it looks pretty fantastic. It's um, yeah. yeah I'm trying I mean, to design all the labels where as soon as you see them, you you know they're mine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not going to get them mistaken for somebody else's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not. I think yeah, you're nailing but... that pretty good. I'm really digging all the labels. And the name's super creative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw best dressed. I was like, perfect, nailed yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, really good there. <clears throat> But all right, I guess we can get into some live chat Q and A. I did see a couple come in. Um, get down the road here. I uh, kind of since we're on the topic of best dressed, I think we should pop up Kimberly's question there. Can you do um, it on your side now? I don't. I yeah, still having some issues with that, but we can okay. we can address that after. Let me look um, here. I tried to give Dewar some more power in this thing. <laughs> I didn't log through. in. I just kind of joined it, so maybe I got to log in and then oh, have uh, right. have full control. But uh, there you go. How do yeah, you so... fare in winter time? She is the salty streets in Chicago. Never been there. Uh, no, they'll they'll do good. They're they're not going to uh, turn brown or flake off or uh, chip or anything like that. They'll they'll hold up great. Mm-hmm. I'm only I'm like five hours from Chicago, so not too oh, far okay. away. Yeah, yeah. So if she buys it and hits some salt, our winters are probably close to the same. Yeah, and wants to wants to I don't know maybe she maybe it's not for her and she wants to return her. You gonna make her <laughs> record the process and yeah. send in the receipts and <laughs> have to oh, send her to there. Send you a TikTok um, of you unboxing it. And yeah, make sure you get it. <laughs> No, nothing like that. If you're not happy, let us know, and we'll, we'll either refund your money or give you a different product or Very cool. what, whatever works out best for everybody involved. Mm-hmm. Here's one from our pals yeah, over Yeah, no hoops to jump through. Yeah, no hoops. No hoops at Black Rhino. Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward ship Brad's running over there. But here's one from our friends at Glovebox. They want to know, mm-hmm. how'd you come up with the name for the line, Black Rhino Shine? I think we uh, I think we went over that last time. I just wanted, yeah. uh, you know, but it was an early episode, and it was yeah, they probably couldn't audio. hear half of it. So mm-hmm. yeah, uh, I just wanted something that was extremely tough and durable, and I don't know if you can get much more tough than you know, a black rhino. I wouldn't want to mess with one. Yeah, very, very tough true. animal. Got some tough skin that's gonna you know guarantee three to five years. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And then just below that, Mike yeah. had a question. As there you well, go. Hit them that with that a doer. How did you come up with your tires coating first that it's different from everyone else? I think the only real coatings I've seen lately are both an acrylic. I think they're both acrylic based, which is basically just um, white paint or clear to whitish paint. Mm-hmm. When it dries, it's going to be clear. Right. But yeah, th- those are all basically you know, acrylic. It's basically just a clear coat. This is. Mm-hmm. It's a polymer. It's it's not like you're wiping on clear and waiting for it to harden. Uh, it'll soak in. It it will leave a film, but it won't be like you can't take a piece of it's peeling and just peel the whole thing off. Right. Uh, yeah. So I, I didn't want to do anything like paint related. Mm-hmm. Um, I, yeah. I I messed with those earlier on, and I just I didn't care for them. Yeah. They were sticky. I mean, this can get sticky if you leave it on your hands, but. The, the acrylic stuff was just too messy for me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think a, a good point. I mean, it's also on the. Uh, I'm just looking at the product page here on the site, but um, I think a lot of people with these new types of products kind of neglect the prep and, like anything you do, I think that's a, a super important. Um, oh, absolutely. 
you know, piece to that puzzle because you, uh, you know, if you just rinse it off and put it on and it fails, it's not the product's fault. It's, uh, it's you. And that goes for not just yours, but really anything. So definitely, uh, definitely keep that in mind. So what do you normally uh, prep in your tires with? There you go. I'm sorry that I heard the prep. What are you prepping your tires with normally to uh, to get them as clean as possible? I'm still working on a an all purpose, um, but I actually I don't know. If a lot of people may not like it, but I, I like Simple Green. Yeah, I, I love the smell of it. You can use it on a lot of stuff. So yep. I hey, just, if it works, uh, it works. It's been around forever. It works good. Yeah. So. Probably one of the only people that aren't using straight uh, super clean. <laughs> yeah, but here's a look at the, the the awesome label Brad came up with: ceramic tire coating. Here's some uncoated coating tire, coated tire there. It gives a nice, you know, like semi gloss sheen. Can you yeah, bump that up two coats? You can vary the the sheen if you want. Um, that is more than probably most people are going to put on a tire. It was mm -hmm. going on my personal vehicle, and I wasn't ready to put on the truck yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I put one really heavy coat on. It took a couple days to dry, but I wasn't worried about it. Mm -hmm. Normally, you'd put it nice thin coats, um, and that's going to give you kind of a, a satin. One coat will give you like a satin finish. Yeah. Let that dry. If you want shinier, put another coat on. But yeah, I just went straight to one really thick coat, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I, I like the way it turned out. So, and I don't imagine there's. Uh much sling if any if it's applied properly oh no it it, it dries completely perfect very nice completely. does it like harden or is the I'm just dry i'm sorry does it like have a hardening effect like the acrylic tire coatings will really ruin an, an applicator oh yeah um mm -hmm. yeah it, it won't get like rock hard or anything like that but yeah you, you won't want to use reuse your applicator just mm -hmm. throw that away throw that away yeah <laughs> very nice well, there you go there and, and watch out using your uh, detail brushes on it yep <laughs> don't want to do that yeah i think Definitely jamie fried a couple up. didn't you oh yeah you know i'm always experimenting yeah <laughs> blackout trim restore yeah on that's the... always fun that's always yep. fun gotten a few nooks and crannies with the detail brush definitely want to you know throw that in some degreaser immediately <laughs> rinse out and i uh brush. I have to agree with uh, the last comment here in the chat, Kimberly. A car is not clean until the tires are dressed. Mm -hmm. It's um, oh, definitely hundred percent. And I am guilty. I have washed the car, not dressed the tires because I was not in the mood. But uh, yeah, it's then you dress it. And it looks like almost a <laughs> new yeah. car. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you want to cheat the system? You just clean the tire real quick and throw on some dressing. It looks yeah. detailed all over again. Yeah. yeah, I don't even see the mud. The tires look great though. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Mike, he's asking the tough ones. How you figure this out before anyone else? I don't know what he's talking about, but <laughs> I th I think Mike's been sipping on a few adult beverages, I got the and um, the the fingers are the fingers are working a little bit quick on that little keyboard of his. So it's uh yeah, who knows what's happening? Was that him. the same question from a few minutes ago? I have no idea. It was similar. No. I think he just shortened it up. But that's all right. We still love Mike. It's all good. Another good guy. Oh, yeah. Troy, got a question for me. What's my go-to tire dressing? I really, really well, don't That doesn't have... put you on the spot or anything, does it? <laughs> nope. I have <laughs> such a plethora of tire dressings that I'm just going through. And then, you know, so someone else sends more. And then yeah. it's on to the next one. <laughs> Water based, I'd say, is probably my favorite though. You know, some there's a lot of good ones out there. It just depends on yeah. what you're what you're going for. I like yep. a nice clean water base, or we're we'd be jumping to like Brad's tire coating. Yeah. Some tire people coating. some people yeah. like dressing their tires all the time. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It, it, it might be relaxing, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a tire coating is a good way to finish off, you know, like a coating job, finishing coating a car, then you put mm -hmm. the uh, tire coating on, you're not Aerolizing, you know, any uh, trigger sprays or nothing like that. Don't have any silicones floating around in the air. Mm -hmm. And uh, that tire coat, you know, you can tell them your tires are coated, paint's coated, glass coat, trim's coated. 
I like yeah, and I think with the uh, with the tire coating, it could be a little bit more of a an upsell, you know, a bit more of a premium. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, because you, you a premium tell opportunity not, versus just it, slapping on a dressing. Yeah, because you can tell them it's going to last, you know, several months, and not not it's not going to like wash off in a couple days. Yeah. They spend their hard-earned money on a detail, and then their their tire dressing's gone. Mm-hmm. Mike's looking to get you to send some products to the glove box, boys. So we can um, we've talked about it. We will at some time. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. You'll so, most likely see him on Mike's shelf first, though. Okay. I, I believe he's already got some stuff in his cart. Always. Ooh. Always. My, Mike's one of those guys that has to have everything. I think it's, more of, wrong a, with that. it's more of a need than a want. But, That's right. Uh, yeah. Uh, JD's Garage was commenting on another brand's just standard, you know, tire dressing. He likes the graphene version. Uh, you seem like just a coating guy. Are you just like you want the longest lasting stuff, or are you ever going to get into kind of the more traditional car care products? Uh, like I said, I, I have the a ceramic wax coming out. Um, I have that other coating we were talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a polish which is basically just for paint but it doubles as an awesome metal polish we, we, we put it up against uh the same company that sells the tire coating i was oh. talking about earlier mm-hmm. they call theirs the, the world's best metal polish yep. and ours ours our paint polish blew it away yep so as long as you don't get on tiktok and start harassing people you know we'll be good. oh no that i do need why. to get tiktok though yeah, uh, the well, we'll talk afterwards. But <laughs> <laughs> here's a good question. I think more for doers. Uh, with winter coming up, would you recommend what would you recommend for washing salt off vehicles? I do not encounter this problem, so this is all doer. Yeah, so in our beautiful province in the west, we uh, down here at least we don't like to use salt. Um, we just throw rocks on the ground in form of gravel. No, uh, yeah. So we get lots of paint chips, lots of rock chips and windows. But I do have a lot of friends and family that do deal with salt on a regular basis. And I think there's not really a magic bullet product. I think a really important thing is just getting this the salt off, you know, as quick as you can and not letting it eat. Like if you can go to a pain spray that has an undercarriage one, because um, a lot of the ones in Canada are it's kind of like a car dealership where you drive in one main door and there's a bunch of bays where you can wash. Um, Cause I know a lot in the States are kind of just open air type deals. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the ones that you can go to that have an undercarriage wash would be ideal. Um, Cause it's not so much the salt on the outside. That's easy to clean off, but it's all the stuff from the wheel wells and the undercarriage and whatnot that gets kind really of cold, doing damage. It's real nasty. I'm, I'm really happy that I, we don't have to deal with a ton of salt here. Um, but more places are kind of putting down a combination of like a brine. Um, mm-hmm. So it kind of leaves like a salty appearance on there, but I think just rinsing it off as best you can, as frequently as you can without freezing. It's kind of a little trifecta, but mm-hmm. uh, I, I don't envy those that even on the East coast that deal with that all the time. Like, Oh, I couldn't even imagine. <laughs> Brad, do you encounter salt? Uh, yeah, they use salt here, but we don't really have crazy winners. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't remember the last time we had a, a ton of snow. Usually we get a, you know, an inch or so when it, it's gone in a couple of days. So it, it's nothing crazy here. <laughs> when we do get snow, I just stay home. Yeah. Yeah. If it, we see snow here, the whole state shuts down and oh yeah, the white flag comes up. <laughs> <laughs> we, we get snow and that's just a Tuesday. That's just a Tuesday. You remember Tuesday? Tuesday? <laughs> yeah. You're still got to go to work. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's something that uh, it's fun. It can be fun. If there's no one else on the road, it's fun. Let me put it that way. Mm-hmm. There you go. But, Hit the e-brake a couple times. Yeah. There you yeah. Go. We're, uh, we're into tire changing season here pretty quick. So. Yep, JD, you got a couple promo codes. If you want to look into Black Rhino, Jamie 10, and that mm-hmm. 10, he offered me a kickback, but I say, Brad, just throw that into your cancer patient fund. And Brad, how's all that going? Let's get into that a little bit. Uh, uh, the, the the tips haven't been going all that. I mean, we're still getting them every now and then, but not mm-hmm. not as much as we would hope. But uh, 
I also don't have a huge budget for advertising, so right. not mm -hmm. a, just a ton of people know about the website yet. Um, working on that, as I remember one of the last conversations I had with Chelsea said that once people uh, learn and use not only the products, but find out what, you know, all the other stuff we do, just mm -hmm. the, the company in general, she said we'd be the hottest thing on the market. So we're mm -hmm. working on it. Yeah. So just go ahead and go run, run us down. What, uh, I don't even know what you, what you got active right now, but go ahead and give uh, us the rundown of everything that Black if, Rhino does to give back to the community. See if I can remember everything now. I don't have notes yeah. or anything. Um, let's see. Every month, one customer gets 10% uh, of the sales for that month. Um, let's see. We, we have the tip option. If you'd like to give uh, that, once that hits 5,000, it will go to a cancer patient in need, not necessarily for cancer research, but just to the patient themselves. Like uh, mm -hmm. if, if they need to travel to the hospital, wherever it's at, or if they have to stay in a hotel, just, just to help with the bills or whatever they want to use it for. So we'll give that to uh, eat. every time that hits 5,000, we'll give that to somebody. Nice. Yep. And um, my, code, my promo, Jamie 10, that 10% goes to the fund. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. that, that was awesome. Thank you very much. Very yep. cool. Uh, let's see. Every 50th, 50th order goes out completely free. Oh, very cool. No. Um, no, no matter what it was. I mean, I, I don't look at it and say, I'll oh, close no. personal now. Here we go. There we go. There oh. we go. I did it. All We're right. still learning, folks. All right. Continue, Brad. Yeah, that, that's random. I mean, I don't look at them and say, oh, that one's $600. I can't give that away free. I mean, it's if it's the 50th order, it goes out free. Right. Um, let's see. We still had a promotion for our, I believe it was the blackout. When I, I think that was when that hits, that promotion was for like 500 or 1,000 bottles maybe. I've, I've got it all at home, but I'm not at home now. Um, <laughs> at the end of that, somebody would win a Traeger, I believe it was 8, 850, 885, Ooh. something like that, smell, a pellet smoker. Now, just nothing wrong with that. Me, what was uh, that? that I'm going to have to go into that one myself. <laughs> um, also kind of have a, I think it's the, the best promotion in the, in the industry. Um, you could win 5% of the company. Yep. Right here. Um, by coding, become a partner. Can you see this Brad? Have it uh, I, I can see it, but I can't read it. It's way too small. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah. At Black Rhino, we do more than just claim to be a better company. We prove it. So you have temper. Oh, yeah. This explains pretty much everything, huh? For the next 25,000 bottles sold, you'll be entered. We will enter those customers in a special drawing, and three customers will receive 5% stake in Black Rhino Car Care. So, yeah. We, we actually have two similar to, they're similar to that. Um, another promotion I've got going on was when certain amount of sales and I'm switching in the, the company over to a profit sharing, I guess you'd mm -hmm. call it. Um, I will keep just 25% of the earnings mm -hmm. and then the rest of it. Uh, obviously I still have to pay for supplies and all that, but the rest of the profits will be split up between a hundred customers each month just uh, to give back. Cause I mean, I'm not a greedy guy. I don't need millions in the bank. Um, as long as I can have a, a decent life and be comfortable, that's, that's all I need. Right. There you so go. yeah, uh, like I said, I'll keep 25% of the, the earnings because I, I do have to eat obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then more uh, reason to support, you know, black Rhino car care, super small business. Is it still just you over there? Still just me. Uh, well, you couldn't get I, your son to, to help you label. No, he, or nothing. no, he's been out on the road. So yeah. But yeah. I, if, if you get it for me, I, I bottled it. I put the labels on. I, I shipped it. Very cool. So if you order it for me, I've, I've touched the bottle. Yep. Papa Smurf chiming in saying, what's up? We might have to get Papa Smurf on here, get him back in the game. He's been, <laughs> been dark over there. <laughs> You're working too much, Papa Smurf. Yeah, I haven't seen anything from him lately. Yeah, we're gonna have to, to hype him back up, and get him back in, back on YouTube. 
get that energy going before winter time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I haven't there seen anything from, from Mike lately either, but the internet out at my house completely sucks. There's no way well, I could do this at my house. Well, Mike <laughs> got a, the storefront. He's mm-hmm. slinging coatings. He's uh, inspecting concrete. Mike's doing all kind of stuff. Yeah. Over there. Yeah, you'll you'll learn more about if you watch uh, Jamie and I's last live with uh, or Rick's live last week with Mike. He, uh, if you want to learn some stuff about concrete, my goodness, don't He's bother going to Google. Go to that. Go to that stream. I'll tell you what. Um, yep, crazy busy family and work. Yep, Papa Smurf, keep grinding, brother. I know Papa Smurf wouldn't mind that trigger. I'll tell you that much. He don't need another Traeger, man. No, he's going to be smoking meat for the whole block. Yeah, so. he'd have he'd have to open up Papa Smurf Taco Shop or something. Yeah, the, uh, I the, say he, he makes me hungry when he posts pictures of those. Uh, was it Casa Bira tacos or something like that? I, I don't know the name yeah. of it. They look so good. He's always cooking some kind of big meat over there. <clears throat> but all right, Brian, any final thoughts? And we'll wrap this bad boy up. I think we've come to the end here. We've recapped. We've uh, done it all. And we've had audio for the entire time. That's right. Streaming on StreamYard now. I think we're uh, we're getting there. Fantastic. Yeah, nobody's complained about audio. No, that's a plus. Yeah, a plus from the Instagram Live days. Now, if, if something happens, it must just be me because apparently I'm bad luck for your audio. <laughs> Uh-oh, we've got him going. Oh, yeah, he's in yeah, now. <laughs> <laughs> you say there I was the only you say I was the only one you've had on twice? Uh, I don't know. I think we might have had uh, a couple people on twice. We've had Glove Box on twice. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, the, the yeah. list is small either way. list is small, yeah. You're in the elite, you know, awesome. uh, doer list. Yeah. <laughs> doer tour list. Yeah. You get the doer tour trophy. Doer work on that trophy. Give the man a yeah, the doer we'll, tour uh, trophy. We'll get some Kennedy novelties and there we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get some yeah. syrup in a basket. But anyway, Brad, give us the plugs, and we'll get you out of here. Uh, I, I really have nothing else. Um, just appreciate all the, the support from everybody. Um, use all those BOGO codes that are floating around. There's so many. Um, yep. When when those expire, we'll make another one. So, um, there you go. Yeah, that's it. Thanks Good to problem. everybody. Thank you guys for having me again. Yeah, no Not problem. problem. Jamie 10 for the 10% off. 10% goes to the cancer fund. And Jamie double for that buy one, get one. You go get two bottles of optics today. I'm telling you, y'all got to try this code and it's phenomenal. Do you got any? What you got to end this off with? Oh, just uh, I think the, as we kind of talked about before, the uh, not very many businesses do this type of profit sharing with um, with their customers, especially being so small. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think that's super cool. And a lot of this goes to a good cause. And, uh, yeah, the uh, the coding there, and yeah, just blackrunnershine.com, it looks like, and all the information you need is there, and, uh, you know, how many people can say that the uh, owner of a company has touched every bottle, you know? Every that's, bottle. That's not a thing, so. But yeah, it looks like there's some uh, exciting things up on the horizon here, and uh, look forward to uh, having you on even again with even more new, fun, and exciting stuff. Yep, we'll keep having you back on as you unroll, you know, more coatings and more nope. different products. There's a few more coming. There you go. Very cool. Well, so it probably won't be too long, Brad. I'll be back. Now, but, I'll uh, either have another coating or I'll just be improving these. So mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. we'll see if we. I can't get like a third promo code. I don't know what it's going to be for. <laughs> we'll just keep stacking promo codes and products. So we'll black rhino to the moon, I guess. Yeah. There you go. You can follow Brad at Black Rhino Shine. You can follow Dewar at Bucky VW, and I'm at Jamie the Cleaner. That's it for this one, guys. We'll catch you on the next one next week. We're going to find a new guest, Dewar. It was supposed to be Talk Supplies. Yeah. And they but, dropped uh, out on us, though. So family got in the way, but uh, we'll have them and on yeah. again. They have it quite the Thanksgiving again. sale for all of our Canadian friends, so plug for them. That's right. So let us know if you want to see a Canadian guest or an American guest. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> one of us will reach out and find someone out there. But all right, yeah. we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Your dad with the swag on the flow. Mama going brag when I walk in the door. Y'all ain't never seen a gorilla in the mist. Walk the line so fine with a blindfold. Keep in mind, no.